Hey guys, here for another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool calendar app that I've been using for the last couple of weeks and I've been loving it. Um, this app is called Up2 and it's totally free. Um, at first glance, when you look at it, like you see right here, it's going to look like a normal calendar, but in blue over here in the top, like you see right there. If I'm over here, of course, I could go ahead and click right here today and it'll take you back to the date. Uh, present day but what's so special about this calendar is that you can go here it has a discover section right here click right there and now you're gonna have different calendars that you can add from a bunch of sources like for example if I go here to holidays I could go ahead and add calendars like for example Australian holidays I can add calendars from Bolivia holidays you get the idea right if I go over here for most popular uh, here you're gonna see the most popular calendars you can see over here like you see right there uh, for example if I want to add one all I have to do is let me see if I could find a calendar which I totally like I was gonna add over here famous birthdays I guess that's um, birthdays of celebrities if I want to follow that I just click right there right and I'll go back over here let's go back let's go to my calendar and now if I click over here this layer button if you leave it like that this is gonna be by default you are just gonna see your your events or uh, task that you have because remember keep in mind you can um, link this app to your Google Calendar or to any other calendar right but when you tap right here is it looks like a layer button you're gonna see automatically you're gonna see pop out the calendars that you have chosen from that list that we just saw like for example today june 4th we got angelina jolie's birthday look at that that's awesome right and also since i added uh, my new york yankees i got oakland at new york yankees at yankee stadium if i go to tomorrow I'm going to see, look at that, June 5th, Mark Wahlberg's birthday, and Oakland at New York Yankees. And if I keep on going, like for example, over here, June 6th, I got uh, the fall, the movies releases, The Fall in Our Stars, Edge of Tomorrow, and Netflix. This is an awesome feature that I'm loving as well because you can also add a calendar for Netflix. Look at this. Um, these, when you, when you subscribe to a lot of um, sources or you follow a lot of sources you're gonna see all your sources right here uh, right here like you see I am subscribed to El Paso Chihuah Chihuahuas that's a the new AAA team for El Paso Texas uh, you got the famous birthdays that's the birthday that I just added right now uh, movie releases Netflix releases which is awesome because um, with that calendar you can see every time there's a new movie added to Netflix boom automatically you're gonna see it in the calendar uh, of course those are movies that are has a, like a schedule because some movies they just appear uh, randomly uh, you got the New York Yankees of course you could choose a lot more teams if you if your favorite team is the Chicago Cubs you're gonna add the Chicago Cubs uh, US holidays and video game releases and that's it over here if I click in settings you can uh, control a couple things here like for example uh, your default calendar right now my default calendar I have my Gmail calendar but like you see right there you're gonna see all the calendars available on your phone if you have six calendars you're gonna see six calendar also you have Facebook you can connect Facebook and you can share your calendars with your friends and all that calendar layers here you can see you can add different calendars as well and so on so on like here you could press put notifications friend events notify when friends are share events and that's it there, like you see there's a couple features that you can control over here another thing that I really really like is um, if um, during each date like you see right here during each day you can also see the the temperature of the day for example today all the 101 degrees 71 97 61 69 uh, for Friday 96 68 that's very cool that's something that I never seen on a calendar before and another great feature is like for example let's say I go here let's go to another date here which we've had has something uh, different here um, for example on release release gate Tuesday the 17th I got a couple games releasing right I'll get games usually release on Tuesdays so if I want to add EA Sports UFC click right there and I want to add it to my calendar 
add it to calendar. Now, when I do that, it will automatically add it to your uh, default calendar that you have linked to this device. Now, what that does is that, for example, if you don't if you don't have up to added on other calendars, like for example, your computer, you can't have up to in your computer if I'm not mistaken, right? So if you go to your computer and uh, keep in mind your calendar automatically syncs gmail automatically syncs to the cloud well that means that this event that we just added is automatically going to be available on your computer or any other device where you are using your gmail calendar as your default calendar which is an amazing freaking deal um and now since i added if i eliminate the layer button see there if i turn off the layer button this will still keep there like you see right there, it still keep right there because I add it to my default calendar, which is an amazing thing to have. Uh, that's the way I add it. Like you see right here, orange is the new black. That's because I add it doing it that way as well. If you want to take it off from your default calendar, you could just click here, delete, and it will automatically delete your uh, this event from your default calendar over here if you want to share it on twitter or facebook and or google plus or email or whatever you could do that as well another cool wow. thing that this um, app has is a very cool widget let's go ahead here and add a widget okay so right here is the up to widget which is a four by two widget let's go ahead and add it here to my home screen uh, from right here i could go ahead and put a, a widget label right here let's go ahead and put uh, mark uh, the geek um, calendar there you go like right there i could go ahead and uh, put uh, my events these are the events that are on my uh, default calendar i can also put um events from facebook events from uh, friends attending to events or my public calendars, which are the ones that I subscribe to. Over here, I could go ahead and choose any single one I want, or I could choose every single one as well. And you, of course, you don't have to put every single one of them. You could go ahead and take away this one and this one, and let's click back, and let's go ahead and click save. When you click save, voila, here is the calendar. Let's go ahead and you can make it a little bit bigger as well. And like you see right here, you got the heading, which is says Mark the Gate Calendar. And right here, you could go and see all the events that you have in your calendar. Very, very nice. Like you see right there, very cool. Of course, you could go ahead here back to the calendar. And if you want to go ahead and add um, these that you took away, right? You could go ahead and click there, save it, click back, and here to the calendar again. And look at that, it automatically appears the new events. Like for example, Angelina Jolie's birthday, Mark Wahlberg's birthday, all the other events. If you want to add an event, all you got to do is tap right there and you choose a date, choose the title, and that's it. And the calendar, and it will also add it to your default calendar. And if you click right here, it will automatically refresh the calendar as well. So guys, um, that's it. This is all I'm going to show you right now. Very cool app. I'm going to leave the app in the description so you guys can download it from there. Very awesome app, totally free, and of course, why not try it? It's totally free. It's called Up2 Calendar for Android devices. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.